Next up is uh, John Gilbert and Aaron Gilbert. Uh, and Mr. Lawrence is on that. I see Mr. Gilbert's uh, here in the courtroom or courthouse. And um, Ms. Gilbert, you're here. I see an yes. Aaron. Okay. Um, Mr. Lawrence, why don't I start with you? Um, if you can give me an update on what's going on, or um, if, if there isn't one, I'll I'll ask the parties. Uh, and you're muted right now, Mr. Lawrence. Can you hear me now? I can. Um, I met with Mr. Gilbert probably <laughs> about two weeks ago. He had some documents for me, uh, none of which were the drug and alcohol evaluation that was ordered by the court. I checked with the uh, uh, Odyssey file uh, yesterday to find out whether or not he might have uh, submitted the drug and alcohol evaluation, and I found that none has been filed. Uh, I uh, saw his declaration in there where he's, and I'm trying to get this correct. Brenda had alleged that he gets up at 1.30 in the morning to drive to Portland to buy meth. And Mr. Gilbert was indicating that he was, he couldn't understand why the Washington courts would be concerned about that because it's legal in the state of Oregon. So he was essentially admitting to using meth. Uh, he also indicated that, or provided a copy of the sheriff's report from the incident involving the uh, uh, domestic violence incident involving uh, John and Brenda Gilbert. And uh, <clears throat> at the um, investigation level, they couldn't determine whether or not domestic violence had, had occurred or not. Um, it was alleged that Mr. Gilbert threw her down, but the officers found her laying on the hearth of the fireplace. And she had apparently injured her head, but had refused to undergo uh, medical treatment. The officers tried to defuse the situation by requesting that she go live with her, uh, or at least spend the night with her parents, who were only a few doors down, and she refused. And the officer interviewed her father, who indicated that she has bipolar disorder and schizophrenia, and that she's not medicated currently, and when she drinks, she becomes... Uh, uh, out of out of control so the situation is not getting any better your honor we have an untreated bipolar schizophrenic uh who may be drinking and, and uh, getting out of control beating mr gilbert's truck with a piece of wood he provided uh, pictures of some of the damages that she had created but also uh, he freely admits that he uses meth and can understand why the court here would be concerned about that because it's legal in the state of Oregon. And um, it also uh, indicates a level of uh, urgency and motivation that somebody who works as a logger uh, and has to be to work early in the morning would get up at 1.30 to drive all the way to Portland to buy his drugs and then, then work all day. So I, I'm again at this place where we have been talking about trying to get Mr. <clears throat> Gilbert to undergo a, a substance abuse evaluation. He's alleging he doesn't have the funds to do it, but yet he has the funds to buy meth. And so I'm, uh, I, I, I think the court needs to hold firm on this, that uh, the status quo will remain until he gets his drug and alcohol evaluation completed. All right, thank you. Ms. Gilbert, I'll let you comment next. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, well, I basically had the same um, feelings as Keith. Um, I 
I still would like the drug evaluation. Um, he was ordered to do a 12 panel and only did a five panel drug test. And I was also wondering about reoccurring tests, if that was possible. Um, but other than that, I agree with Keith. All right. Uh, have there been any supervised visits since we were last together? Uh, there was one last weekend. Okay. Can I say something, Your Honor? Mr. Gilbert, your turn. Yeah. First off, I'd like to apologize for the way I acted here. But I did the drug and alcohol evaluation. I don't understand. I got the receipt right here. If you can see it or not, it was done. When did you do that? It was done last Friday. The tribal center couldn't get me in. They were weeks out. This um, I went down there. I did it down in Chehalis. But I did it last week on Friday. And I'll, they should have Keith Lawrence's email address. They had Aaron's email address. They had everything. And I mean, but for, I would first off like to state, I work for a very big company. We have to type in, I can get notes for that. We have to type in our mileage on our pickups every day. From where I live, there's no way I'm going to Portland in the morning. My company has, you aid me after this came out, everything else. The company thinks it was a joke that it was even put out there. I do not have a drug problem. I will do your UAs, whatever, and stuff. The mileage, if I have to get a note from the company I work for, the mileage does not work out. We have tablets in our things. It's got GPS tracking. I was not in Portland. I do not have a meth problem. They do not, with the price of fuel and everything else, they do not allow us to drive our crew buses to Portland to go do personal things. I'm working in Milton Road. I live in Tootle. The miles and stuff on my pickup do not add up. If I have to go to my work and get notes and stuff like that, I will go down to the office. I will turn in notes because... None of that makes sense at all. All right. So, Mr. Gilbert, what I'm looking for is objective evidence that you don't have a drug issue. And apparently you did a drug and alcohol evaluation Friday, uh, but we don't have the results yet. Um, apparently you do UAs for your job. Is that right? Yes. I work for a very big logging company here. Uh -oh. they What's the most recent UA you did uh, for your, your job? Right when this all went around, it was um, around January. And then um, February, the Super Bowl weekend, I did one then and stuff. I will go right down right now and go do one and bring it back to the courthouse. I mean, if I, I'm just hoping there would be one a little more recent than, than that, but uh, it may be helpful to see a pattern um of clean uas from your employer um so i all i'm saying is i need objective evidence today we don't have it although you've uh, done uh, apparently what the court has requested so do you think you can get the uas filed with the clerk and uh, this uh, evaluation filed with the clerk by the end of this week. Yeah, I'll go do a UA right now and get it filed in here. Okay. Well, then um, why don't we come back a week from now, look at that uh, documentation, and then uh, we'll make some decisions uh, on how we proceed. Um, can I just say one thing? Sure. Um, when this drug evaluation thing came about, um, you had, well, Keith asked if I would be able to talk to the person doing the drug evaluation. And so that was a part of it. And I did not talk to that person. So I don't know if now that ship has sailed or if that's possible. Well, let's, let's uh, do you know the um, company that you did the evaluation with? Um, no, I got their... Address, I would have to find it and stuff, but I can get the number and stuff like that. They got, I gave them Keith's email address and stuff like that. I mean, 
I took pictures of a bunch of the questions on my phone. I could hold that up if you want to see that or whatever. I got the receipt, everything right here. Isn't their name on the receipt? No. Um, yeah, New Direction Counseling, P.O. Box 59, Chehalis, Washington. All right, New Direction Counseling. And um, Ms. Gilbert, I'll, I'll um, invite you to give them a call today if you'd like. Yes. Okay. Thank you. All right. So, All right. Um, if you can get that stuff uh, filed by Friday, then let's come back next Monday and take a look at it. What do you What do you want me to do? Just get call these guys and have them get a hold of them. Do a UA. I can run do that and turn it all in now. Well, if you want to do a UA, that's great. But I need to see the results of your. Um, drug and alcohol evaluation that you did in Chehalis. And I'd like to see two or three of the UAs that you've done at your employment. Okay. So if you can go there, I'm sure they'll release that to you and then just file it with the clerk's office, uh, what we call under seal, which means that it's private so that only I can see it and not the rest of the public. Okay. Okay. And you should provide copies of all that to Mr. Lawrence to review also. Okay. And Ms. Gilbert, please. And, and Ms. Gilbert. Um, and before we leave, uh, how did the supervised visit go? It went great. I want more, but she didn't classify that she has three jobs. So trying to get time, I open seven days a week, but in a month, I've only got one visit. I wish try a little harder and I would I would like to get her work schedule because if she works three jobs and she will never disclose when she works it's always a no-go 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 and I would love to um, see my work. all right we're let's not address that today I I uh, I want to address uh the visitation schedule next week once I see the results of these tests okay okay I don't want to um address it now because I would just end up readdressing it next week. And I, I don't think we need to do it twice. Okay. Uh, Mr. Lawrence, anything before we um, leave? Yes, one matter of clarification, Your Honor. You indicated next week, which I assumed was Wednesday's docket, and then you mentioned Monday. Uh, or do you mean Monday or do you mean Wednesday for the hearing? Uh, if I said Monday, I think that was a mistake. Okay. Uh, so it's... Um, June 14th. Okay. At a clock, we'll be done. Thank you. All right. Thank you, everyone. We'll see you then. Thank you.